Ayurvedic medicine believes you should clean the body first and then feed the body. The body's gunk, or as they say in Ayurvedic medicine, ama, should be periodically flushed. Cleansing, though, though universally stressed by all the world's major schools of natural medicine, has been dismissed by modern allopathic medicine. As a result, drugs are pushed to the extremes to try to cope with the physiological conditions that cry for cleansing. Ayurveda House is a really cool place, and we had so much fun. One big question was, could Panchakarma cure zombies? And the answer was, resoundingly, yes. Hi, can you tell me what Ayurvedic medicine is? Ayurveda is a combination of two words, Ayur and Veda. Ayur means the life and Veda means the study. The study of life is known as Ayurveda. So this is a science in which we are using only the natural products. We don't use any kinds of chemicals in it. So the best part of Ayurveda is that we don't get any kind of side effects in it. In Ayurveda, we believe that there are different channels in the human body from which the energy is flowing. And if there is any kind of obstruction in these channels, you have a problem. Or you can say like if there is any problem you're suffering from, you have a root cause from it. And in Ayurveda, we are not suppressing the symptoms, we are eradicating the disease from the root. Food that we are eating these days, like it has so much chemicals in it, so that what happens with that, these, uh, these chemicals, they get accumulated in our body and they cause the toxins. We call them as ama in Ayurveda, anything that is of no use to us in the body and just giving us the harmful effect. Ama or the toxins, this is a thing which is produced in the body due to our day-to-day -day life or due to our living habits or you can say the food which we are eating every day, a person used to eat some uh, stuff which is not very healthy for us. So we in Ayurveda, we believe in eradicating these toxins out or eradicating the root cause so that you can have a more healthy life. In Ayurveda, we have three main things, the three main pillars of Ayurveda. They are known as Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Vata, the air element, Pitta, the fire element, and Kapha, the water element. Vata, the air element, is responsible for the circulation and movement of the body. Pitta, the fire element, is responsible for the digestion and metabolism of the body. And Kapha, the water element, is responsible for the moistness and lubrication of the body. When all these elements are in balance in our body, it gives us health. And when it gets imbalanced, it gives us diseases. When an individual is born, he or she is born with a particular kind of constitution, the percentage of Vata, Pitta and Kapha, which is a normal constitution for them. But and it, it is not something that changes later on or it develops later on, but at the time of the birth it is present there. And Ayurveda believes that if your diet is good, all these Vata, Pitta and Kapha are in balance. So we should eat according to our body constitution to be a more healthier person. We are checking the reflexes of the body so that we can know what is the tone of the muscles going on right now. And sometimes what happens with the knees, when with the age or with the vata imbalance, we start to feel the knee crepts there. So if the knee crepts are there, like you can hear some noise coming out from there, like this, or you can feel it somewhat here, it means there's a vata imbalance there in the body. Here in Ayurveda, we are welcoming all the patients or all the people from all over the world so that we can give our best services to them. Here we specialize in Panchkarma. This is basically a Panchkarma center. But Panchkarma center, it really does not mean that we are only doing that. Here we specialize in other things as well. First one is with the diet. And the other one is with the herbs. And the third one are the purificatory techniques. So it's not that everybody needs panch karma because when you're coming to travel here, the time is time is really important. So not everybody has time for that. And not everybody has patience for Ayurvedic stuff. Because I personally believe that for having an Ayurvedic treatment, the patient should have patience. If you don't have patience, then Ayurveda is not for you. Basically, panch karma are the five main therapies that are used in Ayurveda that is used for detoxing the body. We have different channels in the human body from which the energy is flowing and if there is any obstruction in these channels, these five therapies help in removing those toxins out of the body. And these main five therapies are, one is like in Ayurveda we call it like Vamana, that's emesis, you may make you throw up. Then purgation, that's sort of diarrhea, we give you medicines and you have the diarrhea and you throw all the impurities out of your body. Embastis, the enemas, they are like strengthening treatments. 
and the nasal treatment and the serodhana. Nasal treatment is done with the help of a nose to remove the toxins from the supraclavicular region so that the things are out and the channels are open and you can breathe more nicely. And the serodhana, the last, last but not the least, that's very important, which is really helpful in balancing your emotional stuff and also to relax you. It's just as I said, Vata, Pitta and Kapha are there in the body and every individual has this Vata, Pitta and Kapha. We are born with this particular percentage of Vata, Pitta and Kapha and this is known as our body constitution. When this Vata, Pitta and Kapha are in balance, they give us health and when they get imbalanced, they give us diseases. The, the, you can say they get imbalanced because of the diet. Ayurveda is laying a good stress or good emphasis on the diet. If your diet is good, everything is good. But if your diet is not good, you get these imbalances and you get these problems. So you really need to take care of your diet during the treatment. For example, Vata, the main action of Vata is circulation and movement. So if your Vata is in balance, it will do that. But if it gets imbalanced, then you start to feel the problems with your circulation. For example, you start to get like this tingling sensation, you get these pins and nerves, you can start to get tremors. So that's a vata imbalance. And also the main thing is the pain. When you get pain in your body, it's a vata imbalance. Your body feels tight. You're not able to do anything. That's a vata imbalance. Mm -hmm. Same way, pitta is responsible for digestion and metabolism. And if your pitta gets imbalanced, you get like a gaseous distension, lots of gases, your food is not getting digested very nicely or you get diarrhea, you get pain in your stomach. So everything is because of the pitta. And then is the kapha. Kapha is responsible for the moistness and lubrication of the body. And if it gets imbalanced, what happens to you? You start to feel like dryness in your body. Your joints are hurting. Your eyes are dry. Like the things are not working. You always feel your body is getting dry because you don't have any water element in you. So to keep everything in balance, we need to take care with the help, help of some diet or with certain purificatory techniques so that the body can be in balance. In balance. So different therapies that I explained before, Vata, uh, according to the Panchkarma, so Vata, Pitta and Kapha are balanced with them. The emesis is the best way to balance your Kapha element. Purgation is the best way to balance your pitta element and with the help of bastis or the enemas we are balancing our vata element. So they are the best way to keep the body in balance. So it is usually advised for a healthy individual to go through panchkarma once a year. In Ayurveda with the help of panchkarma we are throwing the ama out of the body. Ama are uh, like whatever we eat it has chemicals in it. And in the Western life, so much stress there, it, everything gets accumulated in the body, not everything is thrown out. And anything that is not needed in the body, and it is still there, and but it is not doing anything good for you, good for your body, it is known as ama. Ama or the toxins, which will never do anything good, but on, on the other hand, it will start to affect your body in a bad way. When it is accumulating newly in your body, you don't or you don't realize what all is going on inside but when the problems have developed already more up to 60 or 70 percent then you start to feel that something is going wrong and this what happens with this the level of armor is really rising up the channels they get obstructed with armor and armor is not something like a solid material there it is present in the form of mucus before doing the panch karma there are few karmas that are known as like purva karmas purva karmas are the therapies that are done before the panch karmas and then there are Paschat Karmas, which are done after the Panch Karmas. So the Purva Karmas include like the oilation of the body, the internal oilation and the external oilation of the body. That is like done with the ghee. We give you some herb mixed ghees according to your problem that goes inside the channels and remove the obstructions from there. So these ghees or these medications they are given in the morning hours, especially when you are empty stomach, so that they just directly go to the, your uh, small intestines or your digestive system they get digested and after digestion they just go to your different channels as the normal process of digestion takes place so when these keys or these medications they get digested they go to the different channels they start working on the ama or the toxins which are deeply seated inside the different channels ah oh, delicious key it's like apple strudel. So <laughs> delicious! <laughs> and the external oilation is done with the help of different massages. Like different oils are used on different kinds of problems and on different kinds of constitutions so that you can get the maximum benefit of the oil. We 
also give you some steam bath. The steam baths always help in like loosening the toxins of the body. Steam bath is given to liquefy these deeply seated toxins which are hard in uh, in the physical appearance. So these are made loose by the uh, by the steam baths. And slowly we also sometimes we increase the dosage of the medications to some people so that they act more in the body after digestion they just circulates in the body and then they work more and more so that these toxins they start circulating in the different channels and then for us it becomes more easy to throw them out from the ways of vomitings from the purgations these are thrown out of the body so with before doing the vomiting let's say like we always start with the vomiting we never start with the purgation always the MSS is done before the vamana is done before so before doing the vamana we prepare your body with the help of certain medications which starts helping in taking care of your metabolism and then this ghee internal and external ghee is given the steam baths are given and when we feel that your body is ready for it then we make you do while in the panch karma you clean you throw the things out just like you are cleaning a tube you are flushing the things from the body. Oh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, I am all the time. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, wow. When the punch karma is done, whether it is done for 14 days or 21 days or 28 days, after the treatment, when a person is given a particular diet according to his body constitution, which is a very important, uh, you can say, uh, term during the treatment, we find a person which kind of a person is, and then the diet is given so that the effect of the punch karma stays for a very longer period. So when digestion as well as uh, the metabolism in enhanced, the person's absorption as well as the immune system is also increased because when the channels they are clean there is a proper energy flow in the different channels so similarly all the we call as the dhatus dhatus are the different systems of the body so it starts with the lymphatic system which is the very first system which also deals with the immune system so the immune system also gets stronger the person's resistance it becomes stronger so the energy levels slowly with the time they get uh, you can say they are better and better with the time. So these are the things which a person don't feel immediately uh, after the treatment is over, but slowly when after one uh, month or two months, person start feeling that what he was or she was before the treatment and what he is right now. We were treated very well by a husband and wife team, Dr. Ashish and Dr. Kusum at Ayurveda House in the Himalayan mountains near McLeod Gange.